the following announcement is from the hacker fairy tales. They're not sure they, they were written in a book for a reason. The book is propaganda to fill your head with lies. Because once upon a time, there was a hacker. And he wove these words of wisdom. It's propaganda. <laughs> Halloween night. I will be unleashed. And if you don't believe that, <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coaster Chow. First of all, make sure you comment down below who you think the hacker is. Answer revealed on Halloween night. But today, we're going to be talking about this brand new bit of construction that we've seen at Alton Towers Resort on possibly a brand new scare maze for Scarefest. Now, I'm going to talk you through all the details about what we've seen. I want to give a massive shout out to a guy called Jack who sent this photo into Tower Street. I want to give a massive shout out to Tower Street for allowing me to have the photo. So, big shout out to Jack and Tower Street for the photo we're going to share with you today, or photos, because there is a side view as well. So, we're going to share both those pictures. I'm going to share with you exactly what's been happening and then share my thoughts on all of that. So, before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another thrilling video. And for now, guys, let's get into another video. So some shipping containers have been placed next to the Games Bunker Arcade near X Sector's entrance. Having previously been used for subspecies and darkest depth scare mazes. And there's been a lot of questions as to whether this could be the brand new location of a scare fest maze. Now subspecies has been at the park for many many years. And darkest depths has been at Alton Towers scare fest since last season's debut. Now, for those of you who need a little bit of a reminder as to what these mazes entitle, Subspecies The End Games, located usually in the towers, is unarguably the resort's most intense live action horror maze to date. It was introduced way back in 2015, and it is becoming the most popular attraction in Scarefest history from its debut in 2015 on towards a couple of years ago. In the fifth year of the maze, it looks like the fifth year won't be happening because subspecies looks very likely to be exiting. So for those of you who need a little bit of an insight as to what happens in subspecies, you'll descend deep underground to a post-apocalyptic sewer system that has been infested by a species from another world. Here your group will become contestants in the end games, a feeding ritual to appease the creature's hunger that's been twisted into a sick contest over time. The sewer dwellers now sacrifice innocent people from the surface, such as yourselves, betting on your survival as you choose your own route in an attempt to avoid the creatures that chase after you. Unlike the resort's past mazes, the creatures may touch you and work to separate you from the group. So going on quickly then to the Mutiny Bay Courtyard from the towers and into Darkest Depths, the brand new maze for 2019. So last season, this brand new family maze which replaced the welcoming Be Chosen, which was the former scare attraction in the Mutiny Bay Courtyard. Basically, it's themed around pirates and it's around this pirate story. So Darkest Depths sees guests board the infamous ghost ship, the Mutiny, and beware of the sirens who will try to lure you into the ocean as you dodge the swords of the multinous ghost pirates and come face to face with the sea's meanest legend of all, the Kraken. Now this site, the Mutiny Bay Courtyard, has an interesting history. So of course this was home to the Pirates of Mutiny Bay shows, however there was plans a few years ago for a smokehouse restaurant, however those plans were put on hold and pretty much cancelled altogether. Now the Mutiny Bay Courtyard is home to just a seating area throughout the whole season, before transformed into a scare attraction over 2019 and what could be 2020 as well, into Darkest Depths. But maybe Darkest Depths won't come back. So that, my fine fellows and ladies, is the news about Alton Towers Scarefest. Now, from the looks of that then, it seems like Scarefest is still going ahead. However, I think it was pretty much secure that Subspecies was going to go in the end because, you know, the creatures touch the people, you know, and we, we can't allow anything but social distancing at this event. So... I think that they're going for a non-actor touching scare fest this year and probably next year and in future years as well uh, to, uh, to be safe. But I think some species, to be perfectly honest from the reviews over the last couple of years from the theme park enthusiasts and some of the general public, I think some species time was coming to an end. It was getting a bit too repetitive, it had its time 
and if subspecies is to go, which looks very likely from that image, uh, from the image, should we say, I definitely think that we are looking here at the removal of subspecies. Now, Darkest Depths. Now, these containers were used for subspecies and Darkest Depths. So, is Darkest Depths leaving the resort after just one year? Just one year. That would be a very shocking move because I think Darkest Depths has been getting loads of massive, massive reviews. I think if they altered the experience to make it more socially distant, then it would be all right. But I'm guessing with the... The operation of it last season before this virus even existed i'm guessing with how it operated and how the may story fell into the, the scare stuff i think that maybe it was the right decision to cancel darkest depths maybe once you know we get back to normal in a few years time maybe they'll reintroduce darkest depths to the courtyard or maybe the courtyard becomes a halloween show a family live stage show or something um which would be a very nice addition i think that if you weren't going to do a maze in the courtyard anymore, I think that a Halloween show would be perfect. So, I think that what we're looking at here is the removal of subspecies and darkest depths for 2020. And I think we're looking here at this brand new maze near X Sector. Uh, now, there's a lot of different predictions to what the theme could be from the colour of the containers. I think it's a very eerie, you know, ugly colour. So... Maybe if you close down the games bunker and you sort of use that area. Now, to be fair, they are putting the containers there. However, they could be lifting them into place somewhere else. So, subspecies and darkest depths may still return. However, from the looks of it, from the looks of how, you know, it's set up and things like that, it looks like the containers are staying where they are. Uh, but, we'll see what happens with that. So, I think if it is going to be a brand new maze, I'd love to see some kind of wasteland theme. I love the wasteland penitentiary theme that Tully's Farm went for last year. So, maybe go with something like that. Um, and I definitely think that the... I think the tower... I think it's better to have one maze instead of two in the towers. So, uh, well, technically three. Because uh, you had the Attic Tower of the Towers, you had Subspecies, and then you had Altonville Mine Tours, which is technically, um, you know, three mazes. So... Taking one out of the equation will make it more distant, but uh, we'll see what happens with that. We'll see if Altonville Mine Tours comes back as well, because if some species goes, then I wonder if Altonville Mine Tours is coming back. So uh, if we are going to see a brand new maze near the Games Arcade, near Exeter's entrance, with the containers from subspecies, then it looks like subspecies is on the way out. And... You know, it'd be interesting to follow the progress on this. So, again, the massive thank you to Jack and Tower Street for the images. Uh, for the two images, the side image and the front image from the Facebook page. Make sure you go follow Tower Street, by the way. And if Jack's this Jack guy's on social media, I'm not sure what his social media links are, but make sure you go and follow him as well. Uh, but for now, guys, thank you very, very much for watching this Halloween update from the Alton Tower Scareface. Make sure you comment down below who do you think the hacker is. I don't know who keeps hacking to my videos, but, you know answer will be revealed on October 31st I guess um, so we'll see we'll see um, it'd be interesting to see who the hacker is I'm getting quite creeped out by this guy but for now guys thank you very very much my name is Coast Chal, Kit on the Coast Live and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon take care guys have an awesome day